Howdy all. Um, had a few emails recently and they've asked me if I can make a video about Flight Sim Earth Tiles or FS Earth Tiles. Um, I use the program. Um, I've had problems with it in the past, but I did manage to get it going. Now, here's the program opening. I'll just wait until it's finished loading its resources, maximize the screen. Uh, the first thing you would want to do is work out which airport you're going to do. Now, I've got my latitude and longitude set to South Australia um, because, well, I'm in Australia and most of my airports are for Australia. And you can see it's working there. Now, it's working on if FVE, which is Virtual Earth. If you want Google Earth, then you'll have to set this to Google Earth. Now, most will have a blank map like this, um, and that means the service is not working. Now, if you want the service working, I will show you how to get that working. Close FS Earth Tiles down, and you want to open up, um, well, if you, here's an easy way. If you go to a blank map, Okay, not a blank map. I won't. I won't even go there. Oh, excuse me. Um, go to S Builder X. Now I'm not going to use it for the actual scenery itself. I've got it in a editor's area. It's in this folder somewhere. Here it is. S Builder X 314. Open up S Builder X. Now I don't use Chrome, so this is going to open up in Firefox by default. But I'll show you for those people that use Firefox as well and not Chrome. I'll show you how you can fix that. Go up to the help file at the top here and go get map from the web and hit that. Now, you don't need SBuilder at after this point. And you can see the path is up the top here. In Firefox, it'll just, it'll give you all HTML code, right? You want to go to your path where it says after SBuilder forward slash, you've got gmaps.asp. Now, you're not worried about anything after the full stop. So we're between GMAPs and ASP, you've got a full stop. After the full stop there, put your cursor and delete the end path. Type in HTM and then enter. If it works, a map will come up. And yes, the map comes up. Now, it doesn't work in Firefox. It probably does, but I don't know how to find it in Firefox. Um, but I'll show you how to use Chrome and find it in there reasonably easy. Copy the address path at the top. Close down Firefox. Open up Google Chrome. Wait for the pages to load, uh, wherever you've got it set. And then paste the path into the top and hit enter. And the same mapping service will open, but in Google Earth, in Google Chrome. In this white area on the right hand side here, right click and go to inspect at the very bottom. Now you'll have all this, um, you can make this wider and you'll see all the services. You're not worried, we're not worried about the map. And you can see all these services at the top here. You've got elements, console, resources, network, performance, memory, application, security and audits. We're not worried about any of those except sources. You want to go to sources. In the list on the left hand side here, you'll find two sources. There might be more in yours, there could be less. But you want source KHM0 or KHM1. That's Kilo Hotel Mike 0 or Kilo Hotel Mike 1. I use 1, you, your service might use 0. It, it really doesn't matter. As long as you use anywhere between 0 and, and 3, you're doing okay. Okay, so go to Kilo Hotel Mike 1, hit the little diamond, and it'll show you some links here. And there's usually six, between six and eight links. Now you'll see um, Kilo Hotel question mark Victor equals 865 and, and other stuff afterwards. You're only worried about the resource number 865, okay? So 865, remember that number, you can now close down Chrome. Go back into your path where you find uh, FS Earth Tiles and go back to the INI file, which is fsearthtiles.ini. Open that up in whichever text editor that you use. Uh, I use Notepad++. Yours may look different to mine. Yours may be in a different order to mine and yours might have things in there that mine doesn't have. Don't worry about that. Find one 
find a service number, whichever number yours is, that either says Google Earth, GE, Google Maps, whatever it might use, and look for the service URL and see what the Kilo Hotel mic number is. And in my case, it's one. So it doesn't matter. It's, it will work any variation between zero and three. So on this service number, you can see my service number is 865, which is the correct service, which means that FS Earth Tire should work in my situation. Why it didn't, I don't know. I'll go back and check. So uh, if it's not 865, I'm in the current service for yours. I'm, I'm doing this in May of 2020. So if you're um, seeing this video a few months later, so your service number will be different. Just use whatever service number that you found in Google Chrome and then put that into here. Once you've changed that, close it. It'll ask you to save it. Hit yes. Mine's already done, so um, I'll have to work out why. Oops, got the wrong one. Hit the wrong icon. That one there. And I'll open up my service. Okay, so mine defaults to Virtual Earth, so go down to Google Maps and see if Google Maps works now. And this doesn't work, I don't know why. It should actually work. And also it's not working. Okay, I'll have to, in oh here we go. Oh, there was a bit of a delay there. Maybe I had some lag on the um, internet. Oh yeah, Google Earth is working now. So I probably <laughs> probably just dropped out of internet for a split second there, had a bit of lag. But you can see Google Earth is, it's on Google Maps. You can see Google Earth is definitely working there. I'll zoom out. I probably don't have the cache because I deleted the cache not long ago. So you can see I've got Australia's set there and the other countries are coming in you got America up there so th the mapping service is working you've got the Antarctic continent there South Africa Madagascar okay so that's all working so you zoom in you go to whatever map you want Adelaide zoom in a little bit more it doesn't matter where your little square is this because I'll show you how you can get a map so let's say we want to get the city and go out a little bit. You just hit draw up here, find the outskirts. So you've got this main city here. Um, you've got football park there. So you want a good chunk of the city here. You might even want to go a little bit further out here. So let's let's draw another one. So let's let's get the main city. So that's the whole city. So if you were doing the city centre. Uh, you do that now right it gives you a uh, a glossary on, on the right here of what it is so one if you're using one that's one meter per pixel two meters per pixel three meters per pixel and so on and so forth and it gets further and further and further up seven meters per pixel is not very good resolution most people would use um, zero or minus one so 0 is LOD 17, minus 1 is LOD 18, minus 2 is LOD 19, minus 3 is LOD 20. But mind you, if you're downloading that, you're downloading 16 images. And each image is going to be about 500 megabytes per image per season. So you're looking at a night, a, a, a mask, your four seasons. So you've got seven. So you've got seven images, that's 3.5 gigabytes per square. Right, so that's three and a half gigabytes, seven gigabytes, so it's fourteen gigabytes per four squares. So it'll be it, it, that'll be very very high resolution. But um, for these, tw oh, you've got twelve squares here. I thought there were sixteen there. There's actually only twelve there, but that's right. It's one point. What did I say? It's um, uh, three and a half, seven, fourteen. 14 it's going to be it's going to be about 30 gigabyte 14 times 3 is 42 so you know, you're looking at 42 gigabytes at minus 3 so it's quite it's rather large um, number 2 is the same again the images are still going to be 500 megabytes you've got seven of those that's three and a half gigabytes per square so that's going to be um, 14 gigabytes for that alone 
But when you compress that, and that's the beauty about INI files and resample tool, when you compress something that's about 14 gigabytes, it, it compresses down to about 900 megabytes. And 900 megabytes is not too bad because it loads when the SIM loads. So when the SIM is running, it's already loaded. It's already in memory in the background. Um, you just got to ensure that your system has enough memory to support it. 900 megabytes is a lot to load into memory. Now, most people say, oh, yeah, but I've got 4 gigabyte of memory. I've got plenty of memory. 900 megs, not much. Well, 4 gigs, not a lot. Um, 8 gig would be acceptable. 16 gig for doing photo reel, which would probably be the minimum. If you're doing good quality photo reel in Photoshop, I would say I would base your machine around 16 gigabytes to do it. Uh, if you've got four gigabytes, just forget it. You know, forget doing photo reel unless you're happy with just plonking it in. Don't care about color matching. Don't care about transitions. And all you want to do is to capture the image, get this thing to compile the scenery, and make you a BGL file and put it in there. And you've got the photo reel. If you're happy with that, that's fine. Four gig, plenty. It's just time. But if you're looking at making photo reel that's really, really high quality photo reel, uh, in other words, the ground is excellent. You've got transitions in there to whatever terrain that you're using, whether it be Orbix or Ultimate Terrain. Um, you've got Active Sky running. You've got PMDG aircraft. If you're one of those people that have got all the good good toys, they've got you know maybe three monitors. They've got all their yokes and pedals and so forth and they're really serious in the hobby if you're one of those people then and you're doing photo reel you don't want this to compile it and chuck it in the sim because it'll just you know, you've got all this good equipment and then you've got a crap scenery you know <laughs> sorry but <laughs> that's how i look at it now i only run three monitors now i've got four but i only run three monitors now i've got my yokes and i've got my pedals and i've got my pmdgs so I want my scenery to match everything that I've got. So everything that I make, I make myself. I make my buildings, I make my scenery, I get my capture. I do everything myself. So I know when I'm flying in the sim, it looks like I'm flying in real life. I, I don't look at the scenery and say, it doesn't really look the best, you know. Um, <laughs> I look at the scenery and it's go, I go, I land at the airport and I think I'm landing at a real airport. That's how good I want the scenery to look. And that's really how you should look at it as well. If you're doing photo reel, you really want to be looking at it like that. So when you capture something like this in minus two or minus one, like LOD 18, LOD 19, LOD 19 is the best way to look. I'll show you what a photo looks like um, in there. I've got a work folder here, and here's Adelaide. This is the one we were at. Don't look so much about the colouring. The colouring hasn't been done at this stage, but this is the image that it captured. Now, yes, it looks very red. I would have to get rid of the red, put in more green, um, because airports tend to be greener than they are here, although this is probably done in summertime when there's not much watering done. But... Uh, we're, we're looking at an image here that's 10,800 pixels wide by 11,600 pixels high. So it's a very large image. Uh, you're only currently looking at 8% of the image. Although we're looking at the whole image, we're only looking at 8% in, in pixel count. So now we want to just look at this square here. And you can see it, it all comes up now we're in I'm, I'm doing this video in may of 2020 so we're just starting to come out of lockdowns and so forth here in australia because of COVID 19 and i thought i've got nothing else to do um i can't really go anywhere because most most shops are open now but we've still got social distancing and going out with masks on your face and so forth so i thought i'd stay at home and i'll just make this video about how to use this program and get this program going and if I zoom in a little bit more and a little bit more, you can just see the quality there. If you go in too close, obviously it's going to blur out. But you can see the quality of the image. Now, this is a LOD 19 image. And for something like this, I would not put any textures 
over those lines. Those lines, looking close, in flight sim, you're probably going to be looking at something like that. And that, to me, is good enough to taxi on. Um, I'll show you Williamstown. Uh, Williamstown is one that I made oh, a couple of years ago now. Um, and Williamstown, I didn't use an AFCAD, overlying AFCAD. Yeah, this one's already been colour matched, so... I just used the lines. Now, they, they were good enough in... I got rid of all the Google Earth logos and so forth, but that was good enough. I just did the outskirts, and I put lights in and so forth, but these lines are good enough to taxi with. Um, people were saying, you know, why didn't I use an AFCAD over the top? Would you really... If you had something that quality, would you really use an AFCAD over the top? No. So I didn't, and boy, did I get grilled over that. But that's the uh, photo reel for, um, well actually that's the new photo reel I'm doing for Williamstown. It's just the photo reel I'm doing, nothing else. Um, yeah, so if you've downloaded my airports, you've seen my photo reel. Uh, some of it's done with FS Earth tiles. It's not all done with FS Earth tiles. I've got Ambly in here as well. Um, but these are only the path files because I've got images somewhere else. Um, and that's basically how it's done. So if you want your FS Earth tiles working, uh, just follow this video. Uh, you don't have to listen to anything I've rambled on about afterwards. And then just wherever you are in the world, you might not be in Australia, it might be in Europe, you might be in America, Asia, wherever you are in the world. Be safe. Um, do the right thing. Stay one and a half to two metres apart. Wear a mask if you have to wear a mask. Wear gloves if you want to wear a glove, gloves. And um, just be safe out there. Um, do the right thing. If they tell you to stay at home, stay at home. Um, you've got something to do now. You've got FS Earth tiles working. Uh, make your photo reel. Spend a bit of time on it because, hey, we've all got time now. And um, just be safe. Anyway, that's it for now. I think 20 minutes is long enough for a video. Um, I'll sign off, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Um, it'll probably more, be more about AI aircraft. I'm building an AI package at the moment. Uh, it's about mm, 10 gig. <laughs> it's a big AI package. It covers the whole world, covers every aircraft in the world, every variation of aircraft in the world, even covers those aircraft that are no longer flying. Um, and I'm sure a lot more won't be flying after the, the uh, pandemic. Um, and um, I'm trying to get permission now to, to use the package, but no one's writing back to me, which is a pain. Um, and we go from there. So I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.